We're not condoning throwing objects onto a football pitch, but sometimes you can't help but be impressed by the imagination of fans. We've all felt that infuriating frustration which makes you want to do something, anything while watching our clubs. Although, we can't say we've ever been tempted to throw a car door onto a pitch. The same can't be said for this lot. We're just impressed they got these objects into the stadium to start with. Starting off with a pig's head. One of the most infamous moments of Barcelona's rivalry with Real Madrid. Luis Figo became public enemy number one in Barcelona after swapping the Camp Nou for the Bernabeu in 2000. On his initial return to play Barcelona, the Portugal winger was kept off corners, but he was not afforded the same privilege in 2002. The image of Figo taking a corner while a pig's head lay on the turf only yards away from the player remains one of the most defining moments of El Clasico. Next up, wheelbarrows. South American fans are often considered the most emphatically passionate and it was difficult to argue against that when America supporters became so irate following their defeat to Sao Caetano in the 2004 Copa Libertadores and they decided to throw wheelbarrows during a riot. Since then, football hooliganism slash gardening really has changed. Next, dead fish. We brought something for you, fish, 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 is hardly a rival to you'll never walk alone. But those were the words sang by Hansa Rostock supporters when the German third division outfit visited Carl Zeiss Jena in October 2017 and proceeded to throw dead fish at the host's terraces. The 450 km trip to the Baltic coast ended in a 2-0 defeat for Hansa and the victors even took their fishy friends with good grace. Nobody got hurt and that surely wasn't the intention after all the club wrote on the Liga 3 online website. Mopeds. Possibly our favourite because it inspired a YouTube video titled The Holy Vespa. We're not condoning Inter fans stealing a moped from an Atlanta fan in 2001. We're not condoning those fans then smuggling the moped into the San Siro and setting it alight. We're not condoning them tossing the moped from the second tier onto a luckily empty part of the lower stand. Thankfully, the moped never made it onto the pitch, but the Holy Vesper sounds like a mod album your dad only listens to on Sundays, and we like that. Next up, Bull's Head. We're not sure how much it costs to buy a Bull's Head, but eventually it costs Dynamo Dresden £54,000 in a fine from the German Football Association. In a clash against bitter rivals RB Leipzig, the head was thrown alongside coins as Dresden supporters made their clear disdain for the opponents, who were nicknamed the Bulls. Next up, Plastic Pigs. The plight of both Charlton and Coventry under their respective owners has been one of the sorry sights of English football in recent years. While the two clubs may have been competing on the pitch in 2016 and 17, it was encouraging to see both sets of supporters put allegiances to one side and stage a joint protest, delaying the kickoff of both fixtures as they pelted the pitch with plastic pigs. Next, car doors. One fan decided to bring his car door onto the pitch during a World Cup warm-up match between Chile and New Zealand. The stadium announcer later pleaded with the Chile supporters, do not bring car parts onto the pitch. 
Fair enough. Donuts. When Hyduck Split fans decided to protest against their chairman, they decided to suggest he should focus more on the bakery he owned by helping him stock up on donuts. Sex Toys We'll leave this one to Gary McAllister, who told 442 what he remembers the most about Liverpool's UEFA Cup final victory over Alves. I scored, had a hand in the winner, and was given the Man of the Match awarded by one of my heroes, Johan Cruyff. But what I remember most about that night was the huge sex toy that landed on the pitch. I was taking a corner in the second half. Robbie Fowler was warming up next to me in front of our supporters, and suddenly there was a thud. Robbie and I both looked at it and said, Is that a... Yes, Gary, Robbie said, That's a sex toy. Nonchalantly, Robbie walked over to it, flicked it up with his right foot and volleyed it back into the crowd with his left. And finally, Beach Balls Sunderland, Liverpool, Darren Bent, Pepe Reiner, Beach Ball. You know the story. It's still extremely funny to watch Reiner try and save the wrong ball though.